Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be finding the mad. The mad. The mad means the mean absolute deviation. Because we're so mad, it's one of the hardest things we do in sixth grade is to find the mad, but you can do it. I wish I was there in person to teach this to you, but that's okay. Bubbles and I will teach you how to find the mad. He looks mad because he needs to be groomed. We're gonna be grooming his hair here real soon. My wife cut my hair. As you can see, it needs to be blended a little bit, but not bad for our first attempt on cutting hair saving a lot of money. So in order to find the mean absolute deviation, first you have to find the mean of the data set. Once you find the mean of the data set, then step two is find the absolute deviations away from the mean. Once you find the absolute deviations away from the mean, then you find the mean of those absolute deviations. And that is how you find the mean absolute deviation. We have 10 math test scores. Now, the first thing we need to do when finding the mad is add them up and find the mean. So we're going to find the mean first. In order to find the mean, add them all up, 920, and divide by however many numbers are in the data set. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 numbers in the data set. We're going to find the mean. All right. So I'm going to write the mean here. The mean equals, add them all up, 920. 920 divided by 10, that's 92. 92. Here we go. 92. Now that we have the mean, we're going to find the deviations. <laughs> then we're going to find the absolute deviations. Find the absolute deviations. And then we're going to find the mean of the absolute deviations. Whew. Like I said, it's the hardest and last lesson we learn in sixth grade, but you can do it and I can help you. Here we go. Bubbles, you ready? Where'd you go? All right. The deviations, here's what it is. The deviations means the distance from the mean. Like how far away from the mean? All right, let's do that now. The deviation. So 92 is the mean. 86 is how far away from 92? We'll do 92 minus 86. 92 minus 86 is six. But because it's less than 92, it's less than the mean, the deviation is gonna be negative six here. Negative six, okay? Now, what's the deviation of 87? The distance from 92 to 87. If it's smaller than the mean, it's gonna be negative, okay? So 92 minus 87 is five. So it's, it goes down five, right? So that's gonna be negative five is the deviation. 92 minus 89, that's three, but because it's less than, we go, it's going in the negative direction. So the deviation is negative three. All right, you guys do this one. What is the deviation from 92 to 90? What's the difference of 92 and 90? And did it go up? If it goes up, it's positive. If it goes down, it's negative. It went down. Did you guys get negative two? Good job. What if it's 92, guys? Look at this. 92, 92. Well, if it's in this particular case, that would be a deviation of zero. And now, look, we're starting to go up. How about away from 93? 92 is one away from 93, and it went up. Because it went up, it's going to be a positive one. And then 95, <clears throat> 92 to 95, it goes up three. So that's positive three. 92 to 96, what's that? What's the deviation? Did you get four? Yeah, that's right, it is four. And then 92 to 96 again. Oh, so these are all fours, guys. All right, did you get that part? Do you know what deviations are? Now we're gonna go to absolute deviations. Let's just review what absolute value is. What's the absolute value of eight? The absolute value of eight is eight. What's the absolute value of negative eight? The absolute value of negative eight is also eight. Now, if the sign were outside, it would be negative, like absolute value of 
the opposite of the absolute value of eight, that would be negative eight. And in this case, the opposite of the absolute value of negative eight would also be negative eight in this case, but mostly it's just positive unless the sign's on the outside, which then makes it negative. So that's the absolute value. And absolute value means the distance from zero, the distance from zero. Now remember our means 92. Now we're gonna do the absolute deviations. What's the absolute value of negative six? Absolute value of negative six is six. What's the absolute value of negative five? That's five. What's the absolute value of negative three? That's three. So absolute deviations are, in my opinion, easier because they're all positive, okay? The absolute value of negative two is two. The absolute value of zero is zero. The absolute value of one is one. The absolute value of three is three. The absolute value of four is four. All right, now that we have this, we have all the absolute deviations, guys. Now that we have the absolute deviations, here's what we do. We need to find the mean of the absolute deviations. So in order to find the mean of the absolute deviations, you add up all the absolute deviations and divide by however many there are. Remember, there was 10, there, there are 10. So right here, this is 12. This is four. This is a, a good hack to do it. Two plus three plus five is 10 plus zero. And then this is six. So now we have that. Six plus 10 is 16 plus four is 20 and then plus 12 is 32. So 32 is our total. 32 is our total. Now we gotta take 32, 32 divided by 10. 32 divided by 10 gives, drum roll please, the mean absolute deviation of this data set away from 92, the mean is 3.2. 3.2, 3 and 2 tenths. Bubbles, did you hear that? The mean absolute deviation is 3.2. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate and throw small children up in the air. Jubilation. Look, mean absolute deviation is 3.2. Now, what's this used for? Well, Bubbles, let's say these are the test scores. And if you wanna know if you fell within the mean, within the average, do you fall within the mean absolute deviation? The uh, diameter of this quarter is not necessarily the same in every quarter, but it does fall within the mean absolute deviation of acceptable ranges for a quarter. Or like from here, the width of a quarter here, that's like no quarter is exactly the same. It could be one millionth of a millimeter off. But if it falls within the mean absolute deviation, like here's the mean, and then you subtract, the mean absolute deviation, you add the mean absolute deviation onto it. Within this acceptable range, this quarter passes the quality control side of it. It does it. Let's, let's take grades, for example. These are the grades of 10 people in the class. Are you above the mean or below the mean? Are, and are you in the mean absolute deviation range? So what we can do is take the mean 92. 92 and we'll subtract 3.2. Now we're gonna have to place values in decimals when we do that. Zero minus two, because we're gonna borrow here. And we have 11 minus three is eight, and eight. So 88.8, so that's that. And now we'll do 92 plus 3.2. And that's 95.2. So all the scores that fall, fall above 88.8 .8 and below 95.2, um, you know, within that, range there are acceptable within the mean absolute deviation. Now let's say you're above 95.2, then that might mean, oh, maybe some gifted or enrichment work, for example. Maybe if you fall below this 88.8, .8, maybe we'd give you some remedial work to help you build up your skills, for example. So let's see which values here fall within the mean absolute deviation. Okay, so 96, does not, 96 is too high, so maybe we'd give some enrichment work there. 86 is below, so, so that one doesn't, that one's not within the mean absolute deviation. 89, okay, 89 is above 88.8 .8 and below 95, so this one falls within it. This one does not, 90 is 90 between these two, yep. 
87, no, 96, no, not 96, sorry. All right, honey. 92 falls within it. There's bubbles. Bubbles is up there. Uh, 93 falls within the mean absolute deviation. And 95 falls within the mean absolute deviation. So all these scores fall within the average range within the mean absolute deviation. Hey, Hudson, we just learned the mean absolute deviation. It's the hardest thing we learn in sixth grade. Can you believe that? All right, well, let me hold bubbles because you kind of squeeze them a lot. Hey, my name's Jason Jacobs. You are watching Math with Jason Jacobs, Bubbles, and Hudson. Thank you for watching. Watch our video. All right, yeah, Crosley, I find, I always help Crosley with his videos, and now he's helping me with my videos. Cool. Bye, guys.